One country that's hoping to be making waves in the drone industry is Mexico. CCTV's Martin Markovitz met some entrepreneurs hoping to do just that. Robert Rubio and his best friend Rodrigo Tejeria were engineering students in Monterrey, Mexico, when they decided to do something different, start a drone company. In just two years, they own a fleet of drones to perform a number of jobs. Their biggest contract involves construction companies. It helps us to facilitate people's lives because drones are so flexible and so easy to, to maneuver around and find spots that you couldn't see normally. We got to film once a company where the roofs were very old. So we went and took some pictures of the roof. So instead of someone climbing up, they're risking themselves. We just flew it around and they said, okay, we have a crack there. We have to paint here. With the growing manufacturing and aerospace industry in Mexico and low production costs, it would appear the sky's the limit when it comes to drones and entrepreneurs. The drone business in Mexico is booming. It's being used for surveillance, creating maps, filming videos, and maybe even one day delivering products to people's homes. But there are challenges. In Mexico, drug dealers are using drones to transport drugs across the border. And while there have been reports of drones interfering with low-flying aircraft, Rubio would like to see only trained professionals using them. The, the drone industry is growing very much, so now Lots of, uh, lots of people have access to buying it. And like in everything in life, yeah, people that do it in a good way, people that do it in a bad way. So that puts everyone in, in a risk, no? Last year, Mexico passed laws to regulate the drone industry to bring it more in line with the United States. Something businesses hope will help with their bottom line. Marta Markovitz, CCTV, Monterey, Mexico.